2016, for the world, not the best year. For me, career-wise, not so bad. Let's look at my goals. Goal number one, sell a script. Nope, that didn't happen. X. Number two, another viral video or project on TV. Huh. X. Boy, I'm doing well so far. Three, feature off the ground. I put a lot of work into this particular goal, but it still not happened. Next year's the year. X. Number four, representation, agent or manager. To be honest, I haven't actively looked for one. I've been able to make a living doing my thing. Still an X. Five, improve posture. I would say it's a check. You can't tell by this one angle, this video, but it's it's gotten better. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. Six, travel to a new country. Big check. Boom, bam, that's two checks now. We're going in. Seven, make a festival project. Another big check. I did make a short film, I'll talk about it later. Eight, personally write at least one more feature. Now it's not a draft I wanna send out to anybody, but yes, this is a check. It's called abroad, and that's it. That's all you get. Nine, greater than 2,000 likes on Facebook and greater than 500 subscribers on newsletter. I should really read these goals before I record these video logs. I feel like that's a doable goal. I just didn't look at it all year until today. I'm close, but that's an X. 10, write a new piano piece. This is a check. I will post a video coming up for now. Can't see it. All right, and bonus, learn a new skill. I did. I took a class for a new skill, stand-up comedy. I feel like I didn't do so good. Five and a bonus, so six out of 10. D, I think I did a lot better than last year. Last year was pretty bad, but that's enough of the goals. Let's get into my year in review. That would have been an explosion if I had the, the budget. Now, before I get into my projects of the year, I actually have a haircut appointment. So give me one second. All right, let's get started. Projects. The year started off with a very exciting project that was a long time coming for LinkedIn. Now, I've been in touch with LinkedIn for a while. They reached out to us and wanted to make funny videos for their own use. This is a script that was written by Travis, Jesse, and I, and it centered around two identical twins that had two very different experiences with their hiring manager. I traveled up north with my crew to film it at the LinkedIn headquarters, and yeah, I think the coolest part of the video is that I was able to turn one actor into two people using trick shots and motion control sliders and some VFX. So you can watch that actually on my Vimeo page. Then I went to Colombia. Now keeping with my tradition of wanting to go to a new country every year, I decided this time after hearing such positive things to go to Medellin. So many of my friends recommended it to me, said it's one of their favorite places they visited. And like trips I'd made in the past, like Brazil and Iceland, I made a little video of my experience there. So you can watch that right here. The next project I did was for the Warp Zone. This one was a parody of Captain America Civil War. This was super fun. We had everyone in different costumes from the Avengers. A huge cast, actually a lot more cast than we had crew. And I think it turned out really funny. Next, I got hired to do some videos for full screen. They were four videos sponsored by the Old Spice Dream Runner Experience, and they ordered four videos with four different content creators. Each one presented their own challenge. I actually went into the full screen offices to work. My buddy Chase brought me onto this project, and they were a lot of fun. They were unscripted, but it was cool working with a bunch of different content creators. So you can watch those here. And then we have what I'm most excited about from this year. A short film. In the past, I've made two different sketches with Matthew Hart, Playbot Junior and Homeless Therapist, and we worked really well together. Now, both of us had talked about this, and the next step in our relationship was to make a short film. Step in our relationship. He had been sending me script ideas for the last couple years, and we hadn't really landed on anything that we both could get excited about, until a date in 2025. Now, Matt's idea for a date in 2025 was in the future, real life dates are a big deal and this guy has to gain the courage to go on one. Now, it's a super cool idea. I love sci-fi. I've always been a huge nerd in terms of sci-fi and fantasy, and this was a really cool opportunity to make something sci-fi. So for the next month or two, I was full-time in on this short film. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail because this could honestly be its own video log, but the short was an incredible experience. We had to create a world. We had to create a future world, and it was really fun figuring out what that future world was. The script went through a lot of revisions, but the initial idea Idea stayed true throughout. Jumping ahead a little bit, once we finished shooting the film, I actually put together a Kickstarter to help raise money for the post-production, and we hit our goal and then some. I'm currently finishing up the short film, it'll be done by the end of January, and I'm super excited to share it with everybody. I had made a short film before this since college, and it's amazing for me to see how far I've come since that time, so that'll be going off to festivals in the new year. Okay, so now that's out of the way, the next couple projects were all for the Warp Zone. We did one for Naruto, we did one for Five Gum, we did one for Madden, I even acted in one of their superhero sketches. 
And then next up was my first project for Awesomeness TV. This is a total of four videos, only two have been released so far. Now each one focuses on a very specific moment in teenagers' life, such as first love, making it official, last day of vacation, first period. You take those moments and then you put them through the minds of different people. So how your dad views it, how your mom views it, how your best friend views it, how you view it. There's a lot of cool stuff we did. Uh, we had to shoot that in two days, which was pretty hectic, but I think each one of them has turned out really, really cool. After that, I worked on a project I can't talk about yet for Maker Studio, a whole new experience that I've never done before. I helped direct a promo for Aftershock Comics for the comic book series Rough Riders. I was brought on by Adam Glass, and I've actually been working with Adam on a web series for his son called The Brickade, which we did earlier in the year. And then my new skill, so I wanted to do a stand-up class since I moved to LA. It scares the crap out of me, stand-up, but that's exactly why I wanted to do it. So I signed up for a stand-up class with Tom Clark. And there's actually video of my first stand-up performance, as you can see here. It was just super, super fun, super great experience, and what a rush to perform on stage. And then I did another couple sketches for Warp Zone. The first was a Star Wars parody centered around George Lucas and what happens if he stumbles into the new Star Wars writer's room. And the second one was a new Very Warped Christmas, which was in the style of an old school play like an old elementary school play all the people performed like little kids we did that on the YouTube space and that closes out my projects for the year the big project throughout this whole thing is a date in 2025 in the meantime I'm working on getting my feature ready to send out I just want to say like I'm so thankful to be out here making films and doing stuff for a living that I love I really do love directing and I really do love sharing these projects with people and just being on set and making movies and the fact that I can do that for a living is just so I don't know. It's so cool. I'd like to thank all of you for watching me talk for forever. Thank you all for watching, and hopefully I'll post more video logs this year. We'll see.